you can plan out for everything in life and shit just happened and when that happens i think what you have to do is just to be able to adapt and find a way to just move forward because resilience and being stubborn about what you want to be able to do in life i think is really what it takes to be able to achieve your dreams hey if you won't give it to me i'ma take it Hi guys and welcome again to my vlog. So for today, I'm, we're going to be unboxing some of the furnitures that we have here in the facility. I mean, I've been wanting to do this because for the longest time, you know, we were just constructing uh, most of the things that we need to construct. But today, um, some of the furnitures that we bought um, just came in. And these are things we ordered two months ago and we have it all customized for the facility. And I'm really excited to open these all and really arrange the thing, right? So, this is what it looks like now. So, we will have a couch set up here. Um, we're looking to get a PS5 here in this area. And like a TV right here so that people can play games. So, that's the gaming area I've been talking about for the longest time. So, that's what it looks like now. Some of the chairs are already in place. We're going to unbox those two. And then here, that's like, you know, a place just to have chit-chats and conversations about content creation and stuff. So we will have like a PS5 set here also in this area. So one PS5 set up here, another PS5 set up there, maybe an Xbox or I don't know. People can play mobile games here. On that left, we'll have like a working area or like a place just to chill. And then just to share with you, the furniture for the studio is also here and some of the equipment also so basically here are some of the equipments that we have right now we bought around um, 20 30 thousand worth of equipments I believe dollars so yeah so we will have a full studio set up here some of the, you know, paper and all of the things that we need for the studio are already here. Are right, you like this, this chair too? Yeah, this is really chill. So I showed this in my previous vlog. And basically, we were, we're now setting up everything. We're arranging everything. We're putting things in place. This is also interesting. So this just came in. And it's a... Green screen. Look. So this is more for like our streamers and our streaming setup upstairs. Oh, it's really good though. It's my first time to see this. Look up. Like, I really like the, the stand behind it. It looks really sturdy. Taking this, like the texture is really nice. It's not paper. It's, it's, it's a cloth edge finish. And it's gonna be on the streaming spaces upstairs. And then on the other hand, like of course, the white studio looks really good. I like the curve here, like it doesn't really have any shadows. It took us a while to really perfect that curve because, you know, when it comes to photo shoots and stuff, it's very important to have a really continuous white surface right there. So that's something that we really look into also. By the way, for those who haven't seen my vlog or anything that we do, in Tier 1 Entertainment, I'm Trey Cucheres, the CEO of the company. I'm one of the co-founders. My other co-founder is Alodi Goshing Piao. She has 7 million followers on Facebook, 2 million plus on YouTube. So most likely you know her. But yeah, basically, she was one of the um, biggest influencers in Asia before for gaming. And, we, and what we ended up doing is we created an entertainment company around what she did and what I did. And basically today, we are already 100 people strong. We have 1,000 plus talents across multiple parts of Asia and today I'm going to show you our facility our esports and gaming facility that's really tailored towards gaming esports streaming and content creation so yeah this is the white group I mean I've, sh I've showed this to you multiple times but today we're more focused on unboxing the furnitures and the equipments that are here and that's gonna be super exciting let's go so we still have some secret lab chairs left I mean we had 
we were sent the Omegas and the Titans, so there's two versions of this. Unfortunately, this is not for sale, but we're gonna put the Titans here um, on the first floor, and then the Omegas on the second floor. The placement of furniture is, my brother's here by the way. He grew up in Japan. He's the one who takes okay. care of the pictures and like the photography stuff here in the studio. Yeah, and he was, he worked there for six years, I believe, in a advertising studio. So he really helped me out in terms of like setting that up, buying the, the right equipments and stuff. So, well, for today, we're just finding the best way to fix the, the furniture. So we're still lacking like one table there, but that looks really good and I like it. We have two tables left. We gotta find the right placements for it. So just tune in while we're trying to fix all of these things. trying to look at it from you know this perspective if it looks good yeah and I think it looks really it looks really nice yeah I think it all really came together pretty well like we have the hexagon table there and then we have this area yeah it looks pretty cool so on this part uh, our ML team is actually here already they have a game next week so we're waiting for that so this is what you know the mobile boot camp ended up looking. That was pretty cool too. And then this area is more of like their pantry. I've, I've shown this on, on multiple times, but now they're using it already. Yeah, I mean it's all looking pretty good right now. Um, we're just waiting for you know the the logos and the and the stickers and everything else that. We need to attach for those who are not familiar with us like i said we are tier one entertainment we manage streamers content creators and esports players we are also the owner and um the ones who handle blacklist international so yeah i mean we're in PUBGM, we're in mlbb mostly mobile esports for now we're, we also have a free fire team in malaysia but yeah looking forward to get more um, teams down the line we're looking at vietnam right now and the game that you want to be in there is AOV, so that's something that we're very excited about as well. But overall, like Tier 1 is looking to expand in different parts of Asia Zone, and this is basically our main facility and our HQ. We want this to become, you know, really the home for some of our players, our, our content creators, and, and our back-end team. And as we enter into a new journey here in this new office, I mean, Hopefully we make more new memories, we make more, uh, we see more stories, we see more content out of this place from all of our different talents and even for me. Like for me, I, I already said this to my channel that from here on forward I want to be able to vlog in English so that, you know, the other um, people outside of the Philippines will get to understand what we're doing here in Tier 1 as well. So, sorry for alienating you guys. I mean, I'm not going to be doing a lot of Tagalog content anymore. Probably a little bit, I don't know. But for me, like, the reason why I'm doing all of these work in progress vlogs is because I wanted to really document the process of how a company here in Southeast Asia is really approaching esports and gaming and streaming differently than any other companies out there. And we take pride on what we do and we share the process, we show everything um, that we go through as much as we can. So yeah, hopefully like if you're someone who's dreaming to become our talent, our esports player, or just want to become part of what we're doing and, and working on the back end, looking forward to working with you guys soon. And I know that I'm not the typical, you know, CEO profile that you always see out there who's on suits and, and, and looks prim and proper and stuff. But yeah, I mean, I've been a gamer all my life. I just want to 
to to look as casual as possible whenever I can. But of course, when I, I when I need to be in uh, formal meetings, I know that I need to look the part as well. So hopefully, you get to see what we're doing and you get to accept me for the casual looks uh, most of the time. But yeah, looking forward to see more of our adventures here in my vlog. Let's go.